Rob, you wanted to see a response from your boys going back into the Galloway Premiership last week and you saw that at Gloucester. Yeah, I mean, we, we couldn't have asked for any more really as regards character um, and, and then kind of emotional and energy and the intensity we needed in the game. You know, I thought the guys were fantastic. You know, they really, we talk a lot here about aligning your energy as a team and as individuals into what's going to be really important on the day. And obviously on the day, you know, with the conditions as they were, set piece was going to be massive. Uh, energy and, and the quality of defence was going to be huge. Discipline was going to be huge. Um, you know, and like a, an energy for kick chase, and like the almost what some people might call the negative parts of the game was going to be massively important. And literally to a man, that's exactly where all our energy went. You know, we we poured a lot into every scrum and every maul attack or defence, which meant that Gloucester's pack fours never really gained any momentum in the game. And obviously that gave us some some real good territorial footholds. Uh, when we when we were defending, we we kind of defended every line on the pitch like it was the try line, and that's what we really asked the lads to do. I thought we did that really well and numerous times we managed to drive Gloucester quite a long way back up the field with the quality of our defence and uh, when it was really really important which was for that first 60-70 minutes we had fantastic discipline you know we we hardly gave up what you call a soft penalty because it's the soft penalties that really hurt you and that made it difficult for Gloucester to get territory and then as you saw their own discipline led to, to points for us and Gareth kicked them fantastically well you know really led the team very well on the night um, and, it, and it came out to be what you know when you as frustrating as the last 10 minutes were when you when you're sitting there and there's a couple of minutes left and you're 11 points in the lead that's a that's a pretty good win at Gloucester and you take that you take that definitely nine times out of ten and you play with real flair kicking penalty goals <laughs> yeah well it's funny isn't it you know I've I've sat, I've sat and had interviews with different people and, uh, and seen different articles written about us and they go oh, actually got this boring game they get five meters out and then they kind of grind you down and as I said no one ever really appreciates what it takes to get five minutes out from the opposition line. It takes a lot of good play. Um, but the night, the night called for a collection of points. Um, and so I said, as we didn't do the flair thing, which is, um, well, so as we did the flair thing, which is just kick the points, which is what you're supposed to do. I suppose we didn't, we didn't go for the tries, but it was the right thing to do. Was, I, I, don't think, I don't think it was a night where you could ever guarantee that you just couldn't make a mistake. Um, and it's very difficult for an opposition to defend kind of when they stood under their post against a kicker like Gareth. And actually, that scoreboard pressure built more pressure on Gloucester and allowed us actually to, to kind of play even more how we wanted to play. And you know, Gloucester did come back and score, you know, a couple of good, well, one one try. Certainly, I think the second try is still a little bit too doubtful. And I've heard different things from the refereeing department about the the Reece Savitt try. So you know, to score, come back and score at least one good try and put us under pressure for a period. And and ultimately, you know, we're a little disappointed with that. But sometimes. You know, you do have to say, well, we got we we, let's say, we we got nine out of the ten things we wanted to do right on the day, and that led to a very good win. Northampton this weekend, top two sides in the Gallagher Premiership. Yeah. That in itself tells you it's going to be an acid test. Yeah, top of the table clash is always interesting. I mean, we're obviously very aware that um, it's not going to be a full-strength Northampton side. They've got some players away, both injured um, and on international duty. It's similar for us, though. Um, so, you know, that makes it a challenge in itself. They, they've got real ambitions about what they want to achieve this year, so have we. Hopefully we'll get a very good crowd here. Obviously, you know, it's an early kickoff on an international day, which always kind of creates a little bit of a different atmosphere here. Normally a very good one, where kind of everyone starts getting revved up nice and early for what's, what the day brings. So we're hopeful we'll have a real good atmosphere here and we can, we can probably put right some of the wrongs that we still feel we did against Sale, because not, not performing like we did in that first half against Sale doesn't feel, doesn't feel right in front of what's been a very good home support for a number of seasons. Um, I'm still a little bit annoyed by that and a little bit sore about it and I know, I know a lot of players are and I'd like to think that we'll come out firing looking to put that first half right still. Are you expecting a wounded Saints side though, two home defeats, that, that, that won't sit well with them neither will it? Yeah well they're, they're, not, they're not silly, you know you've got to collect points as the season goes on, that's what kind of puts you in the position you are at the end of the year, they'll be looking to collect some points, they'll be desperate to, to keep doing well and keep improving and they're having a good season anyway and playing well. And, and they're certainly on the upward curve, but it, it's going to be a very interesting challenge, for, kind of for both of us, especially with the um, the quarter final happening just in a, a number of weeks' time as well. You know, it's almost like leg one of, of three, really, of three games that are going to happen. Um, and I suppose both teams will really want to put down a marker. I was going to say, how much of a marker can you put down, say, for this one that leads into Europe, or will it be totally uh, I think, chalk and cheese? Yeah, I think it'll be like this. This you, you've got to view it as two entirely different games. You know, the next game will be out of the international calendar. 
um, which makes a massive difference. You know, you think of guys like you know Dan Bigger and Courtney Laws, um, Lewis Ludden were coming back into that Northampton team. You know, they're important and key players for them. Um, and then dropping back in will make a big difference. And you know, but and we may well come out of this period with guys like Colin Devoto and Jack Noel and Henry Slade, Luke Cowan-Dickey, um, You know, Stuart Hogg back available. So there's numerous things that will make it different. And it'll be a different day, different conditions, and there'll be something different on the line. So we, we've got to look at this as very much a one-off game, throw everything into it, collect the points when we can, um, and then move forward to another game. You talk about some of those players, Noel and Slade is back in the England squad. The walking wounded's looking a lot better at the moment now, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's starting to. It's starting to look a little better. I mean, we've still got guys like Tom Francis and Alex Cuthbert you know, a little bit further away, but Jack Yendall's not far off now as well, which is obviously fantastic. Um, so you know it's going okay. You know, obviously, what you got to what you got to cross your fingers. You don't become any more significant injuries at this time of the year because that puts guys out pretty much long term and puts them out for the season. So we're, we're getting there. We're 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 coming to a strength that we probably didn't have earlier in the year. And if we can keep everyone fit, we'll we'll look to keep getting stronger as well. That's right.